All right, so now that the Silverado is running again, new transfer case and everything, it's time to do some upgrades. And there are a few things I need to fix on the truck, but as you can probably see, the light's not great, but as you can probably see right here, the first thing we're gonna be doing is wheels and tires. Um, these are, I'll try to get out of the light a little bit. But these are uh, Vision, I don't remember what the model is, but they're Vision 16 by 8. Maybe they're 16 by 7, not sure. But um, more or less the same size as the stock wheel. Same as the tire, 265, 75, 16. They're a Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. Just a little more aggressive than what's on there now, but basically the same sizes. I think it would be a little better look. And the stock tires are on there now are old and basically it's kind of hard to see but basically bald so first thing i'm going to do here kind of it's kind of dark out here but to, um i actually need to use the truck coming up here soon so i'm doing this tonight um is to swap out the wheels and tires um there's a few kind of maintenance small issue items i still need to do on this um Probably the biggest would be the uh, uh, intake manifold gaskets um, on a really cold night, like probably like tonight. Um, it won't idle very good until it warms up, and then um, uh, or on a warm day, it idles fine. So did a few things already. I did a uh, <sighs> mass airflow sensor a while back. That didn't fix anything. Plugs and wires, things like that, didn't fix any of that stuff, and then unfortunately found out. Probably intake manifold gaskets. So that's something that's going to be fixed. Uh, the gauges are a little screwed up. The stepper motors are messed up. So the speedo barely works at all. And I think the fuel gauge. And so that's something I need to fix as well. But uh, kind of the first thing to these, first thing to just to get it running is these wheels and tires here. So um, yeah, I'm going to get these swapped out. And uh, yeah, admittedly, part of it is. Um, Ice. Ice. Yeah. Uh, mainly part of it is is looks, to be honest. Um, there's a few things I want to do to the truck here that are purely cosmetic. Get rid of these um, faded, horrible looking, uh, I don't know, door protector or whatever you want to trim pieces. Um, I might put a different grill on the front. Might go with like a black one. Um, just to change it up a little bit probably get rid of the chrome on the middle bumper piece because i always hated these bumpers black chrome gray i mean it's so stupid but anyway um so there's a lot of little things here to come uh but step one is uh let's go from this look which is not great i know admittedly these don't have the um center cap on them but still not a particularly good look raised white letters don't like that uh wheel self's okay but it's just you know how many of these trucks came with that and the tires are pretty well they're shot but beyond that they're not really aggressive at all so anyway let's uh get these swapped out and part one of fixing and modifying this thing well quick swap over and yeah it looks way better sorry once again for the light out here i'll do some more video in daylight but just wanted to get these things on tonight and yeah so much better here's a little before and after but i know the lights i'm just looking at the camera here i know the lighting's not great but the tires are just more aggressive they're i think they're a tiny bit bigger even though they're technically the same size when i compared the two next to each other the wheels look so much better um and it just just makes the truck look yeah just way better, but you know, go on the other side here. A little more light over here, might be able to see a little more. But eh, not really. <laughs> I'll do more video in the daytime, but man, it's just quick little swap and it just makes the truck look so much so much better. If you're gonna do if you're gonna do one modification to a vehicle for looks, wheels, wheels and tires, especially on a truck, but on a car, wheels. Um, man, it just definitely improved the look. Plus, I'm not a huge fan of aluminum-ish gray wheels. Every vehicle has those. So, but anyway, this is a quick swap here, and I think it turned out pretty nice. 
So the next step will be, I do want to get this pinstriping off. I'm not a fan of pinstriping to start with, and this stuff's all faded. So take care of that. The trim pieces down here. Uh, a couple maintenance things with the intake gaskets and the um, uh, gauges, a couple other minor things. But we'll get this thing looking good. Get really old grandpa look. Oh, I probably... Oh. Glad I brought that up. <laughs> a couple things I should point out. When I first got this truck, I had those horrible chrome steps things on the side. That was the first thing. I, I ripped those off <laughs> as soon as I got the thing. This also had the stick-on little rain drip little things on here. Those look horrible. So got rid of those as well. Um, oh, and it had a um, cap on the back that was black and... Yeah, that was bad as well. So there were a few things I had done a couple years ago when I first got this just to fix the, well, just my taste, but just fix things I didn't like to start with. So new wheels and tires, uh, cap's gone. Like I said, this trim thing and the steps are all gone. Um, yeah, but uh, good step one.